know, Freedom Pop just launched a public beta on October 1st, so you have a very simple but very ambitious goal, which is to make mobile data a commodity. Tell me, how is that going to work? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So the idea here is, first and foremost, taking a step back, there are various big players in the data space, obviously the big mobile carriers, and they enjoy huge margins on data. And so what we really aim to do is shake that whole thing up um, and create a scenario where we don't have as big a margins on data and we really make the money that we're going to make from value-added services, um, prepaid data plans, things of that nature. So that's really how we can make that happen. And so you, you started at launch with a, a data dongle, is that correct? Two products, two devices actually, a USB modem, USB uh, dongle, and a uh, hotspot. Okay, so are your customers mainly using this as their only source of access to the internet, or is it kind of a secondary thing to them right now? It, we really see it at this point as a plus one device, so you're, you're probably still going to have uh, your mobile phone that has uh, high-speed broadband, but this is something that you could carry around with you for your laptop, maybe for your iPad, maybe um, if you run out of data through your mobile carrier, you can utilize a device as well. Okay, so it can kind of go either way. Yeah, basically. exactly. And probably the product that you've gotten the most attention for is the iPod sleeve that turns right. it into a phone. So how does that work? Uh, it's the same exact principle as a hotspot. Um, all it is is the form factor is adapted to the phone. Um, and in the case of the iPhone sleeve, it's also it also serves as a battery charger. So it just connects to the phone just like a phone would connect to your home Wi-Fi or a hotspot. Um, and plus it has a battery charging capability. Okay, so is that going to be a primary access device for most consumers, do you think? Or? Again, probably a plus one device going out the gates, but um, we believe that over time it could actually replace uh, your, the data plan with your carrier. And how's the public beta going so far? So far, so good. We're, we're, we're seeing great results and there's a lot of uptick and uh, we have a referral program. You know, it's, it's basically the, uh, you know, being able to earn free data by referring your friends and that that has uh, really gone well. We're getting a lot of referrals and we're getting a lot of people into the pipeline so we're excited. So what's the ultimate goal for Freedom Pop? Are you looking at fixed broadband in the living room at all? Funny you mention that. As a matter of fact, we plan on introducing a home replacement device uh, and we're going to explore that option. We, we have noticed that there's been demand out there for uh, consumers to actually completely replace their um, wired uh, broadband so we're going to check that out. So you're on Clearwire WiMAX now, but would that be when you transition over to Sprint LTE? Uh, no, actually the device we're going to introduce is also on, on uh, Clear Max, uh, Clear's WiMAX network. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. Yeah.